Welcome to George Washington's Mount Vernon, which is owned and operated by the Mount Vernon Ladies Association. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's your that's your line. Yeah, sorry. One amateur hour. It's amateur hour over here. You also see something called Oh my god, what the hell is it called? Hopper Boy. You also find the Hopper Boy, which is one of the most unique aspects of this automated mill. The Hopper Boy is an The Hopper Boy is a flower cooler invented the hopper boy, which is one of the most unique aspects of this automated milling. Oh my God. The grinding phase of e er, no, no, no. It was vital that the millstones remained. It was vital that the, oh my gosh. Where a hole in the floor allows it to drop into the sifter below. Before the, make sure, the, make sure uh, you're standing up here. Like, oh, waiting. sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, let's go it again. Welcome to Andrew Jackson's Hermitage, which is located near Nashville, Tennessee, and is owned and operated by the Andrew Jackson Foundation. Today, we're going to take a look side. <laughs> a look side. <laughs> Sorry. And is owned and operated by the Andrew Jackson Foundation. Today, we're going to take a look side. My God, dude, why can I say, say that now? Look inside. And the busts of two of its cabinet members, Lewis Cass, Levi Woodbury. It just doesn't roll off your tongue. Levi Woodbury. Jackson also subscribed to many newspapers and kept them for later reference. The large books... Oh, man. Or that the damaged wallpaper... Or how should the damaged wallpaper... Huh? Or the damaged wallpaper is replaced... How do I expand that? Um. I just don't know how to phrase it. Jackson never received a formal education. All right, that's a bad one. <laughs> Edic. All right. Got to stretch out a little. <laughs> psh, psh. Yep. In 2012, the administration here at Highland changed hands. This new team began to reinvestigate the surrounding area. What are you laughing at? We got a spectator on the field. <laughs> Oh, is that Miles? Hey, Miles, yeah. sit down, please. Miles, sit down. Did I say Madison in any of those? I don't think so. Okay. Madison and Monroe are right on the tip of my tongue. I didn't say Madison at all, did I? Okay. Okay, so we had enough takes, I think. Okay. So, now take back. Oh, back. Okay, gotcha. Is that okay, or is it? These gnats are all over the place in my face. Can, do you, are, you, are you getting them on camera? Or? Hold on, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> the original structure was one story and had a livable attic space above. There was also a. Se <laughs> well, that's not good. Okay, I'll memorize lines. You guys have fun with that. You guys are giggling, making me laugh. It's the bags, dude, it's the bags. I forget where I should start. The room has many artifacts that, that oh man, what is that word? The room has many artifact. The room. <laughs> you notice the glasses on top of the lens? That's so I know where to look. I should have asked, which camera I'm looking at? This one. Okay, i try that again. Close to his love of books, however, were his love of maps. And you can note that, oh man, close to take Gimby. During the final years, year of his life, this space became, was. Do my, I, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have a script, I'm just winging this one. In this time, in this space, James Madison can, can, in this space, James Madison continued to organize his paper. Oh my gosh. Over my right, let's say, I have allergies too. I'm allergic to planet Earth apparently. Yeah. I just took a fistful of allergy pills this morning, which is better living through chemistry and science. <laughs> <laughs> better living through chemistry. Anyway, 